Hello, my name is Dr. Fonda Goldman. I'm a licensed naturopathic physician with a private practice in Stratford, Connecticut. And today I was going to talk about marma therapy, specifically um, the Ayurvedic energy points around the eye. Before we get too far along, let me just mention that the information presented here is for educational purposes only and should not be considered medical advice. For any symptoms that are severe or worsening, please contact a qualified healthcare professional. And as always, it's important to determine the root cause of any disease and to develop a comprehensive treatment plan of which marma can be a part. So consider that. So just a few words about marma therapy. Generally, it's um, from Ayurveda or their traditional Indian medicine paradigm. It's more than 5,000 years old. Um, it's considered an energy therapy. So there are 107 in the system, there are 107 marma points on the body. So when we talk about energy therapy, you really wanna have in mind the idea that people, disease, health are actually considered energy or waves rather than kind of um, the more sort of modern biomechanical chemical system. Yeah. And so when you work with these points, um, you want to remember that they're energy points rather than mecha mechanical points. So the touch that you use is really, when you touch one of these points, it's really about allowing the energies in that point, around that point, to rebalance themselves. So it's a different kind of touch than um, you would typically use in massage or chiropractic or um, physical therapy. Um, it's a non-invasive therapy, you know, needles are used. Um, if you're interested in more history on marma therapy, I would check out the first part of my first marma video, Marma Points on the Hand. If you're interested in um, kind of seeing how to work with the points, um, you can look, check out my Marma Points on the Hand follow along video. That's the second video I did. Um, also, traditionally, oils are used um, in marma therapy, um, which is a whole kind of other deep topic and I've made a video natural oils for skin and body care you can check out if you're interested in adding oils to uh, marma therapy um, sequences and if you're interested in more topics or videos like this I would look at my marma therapy Ayurveda and body care playlist I'm pretty good at organizing my videos in a playlist so you can check more out there if you're interested so starting off with the eye points, the first thing I want to cover is a bit of terminology because a few of these points use similar terminology. So there's three basically locator terms or categories of locator terms. The first set is antara or inner or medial. So the antara points, any of the eye points that include antara as part of the name are on the inner or medial side of the eye, so the inside part of the eye close to the nose. Any of the um, marma points that contain the word um, madhya, um, those points are gonna be in the middle, so right up above or below where the pupil is if you stare straight ahead. And then the last set or category of uh, terms that are used in a few of these points is agra or baya, which means outer or lateral. So these are going to be points that are going to be on the outside of the ear, close or outside of the eye, closest to the ear. And with um, most of the points on the head and the and the neck and the ears and that sort of thing, but especially around the eyes, you always want to use gentle touch. Again, you know, we're thinking you have to think about energy here rather than sort of a mechanical. You know, if I push harder, I'll get better results. Type of mindset. Um, that's not really. Um, appropriate in this um, case. So the first uh, points or set of points is called the Bru group and Bru um, in Sanskrit means Sanskrit means eyebrow. So there are three points and these are all above the eyebrow. Um, so there's Bru antara and we just covered antara so Bru the inner eyebrow point point number one. Bru madhya or the middle point above the eyebrow and then there's Bru Agra, or the outer point above the eyebrow. So again, a set of three. The energies that are um, connected with these three points are the Vyana Vayu, the Alochika Pitta, Sadaka Pitta, and the Tarpaka Kapha. Again, this information may not be 
um, you know, essential in the beginning, but if you're a deeper student of Ayurveda, this, um, these energies will be meaningful and they'll help you sort of categorize and understand uh, the points uh, a little bit better. Uh, just as one example, alochika pitta. Pitta is a kind of fiery energy. It's um, an energy of transformation. And alochika pitta is the fire that's related to the eyes. Because you have to sort of take in light and then transform, you know, there's an image that's formed on the screen, on the back of the eye and, and on the mind. And then you make meaning. So you, there's a transform formation in your mind of like, what do these symbols that you see outside of yourself what do they mean and how to use them to navigate the world. So you'll see with all of the points in this talk, they're all going to have Olochika Pitta um, as part of them because all of these points are related to the eyes and um, function of the eyes. So specifically for the brew group, so again above the eyebrows, these three points, um, indications for them. So local effects, again all, as I mentioned in my other Marma videos, all Marma points have local effects. And so these points um, are helpful with headaches. So specifically, though, frontal sinus headaches and ophthalmic migraines. Um, so again, localized headaches. And also it can be helpful, these points can be helpful with improving circulation of the frontal lobe generally. They are helpful also because their eye points will help with the eyes. So things like glaucoma, red or itchy eyes, chota. <laughs> Ptosis, I, I can never say it right, ptosis, um, which is drooping of the eyelid, um, eye tension, aqueous and vitreous humor, so the fluids inside the eye um, are helped with these points. And also a lot of emotions, stress, anxiety, insomnia. A lot of times when you start working with these points, you'll find that tears are released. And a lot of this is related to um, releasing suppressed emotions. And so actually each of these points is a little bit different in terms of the kinds of emotions that they're associated with. So the first point, the antra point, it's more of a vata type of energy. So vata energy is wind energy and wind, uh, again, in the Ayurvedic system, wind, excessive wind is related with grief, sadness, anxiety, fear, and loneliness. Um, and actually, if you can tell by where tears fall from the eyes, if they fall from the inner corner, they're more of a vata type of uh, motion that's being released. Point number two, the madhya point, middle point, that's for pitta type emotions. So emotions such as anger, frustration, rejection, that sort of thing, more of fiery type emotions. So if those sorts of emotions are released, you'll have tears that'll drop like below the pupil. And then kapha or earthy type of energy, these, these are emotions associated with joy and love and compassion. And those tears will fall actually from the outer corner of the eye. So that's, you know, kind of interesting that they noticed that all those years ago. Um, also good to know that the right side points, because you're going to have points on both eyes, the right, the points on the right eye are related to the liver and gallbladder. So sometimes if you touch these points and they're sensitive, there might be issues with the liver and gallbladder. And the points on the left side are related to spleen and pancreas. All right, so that's the first group there, the brew points. The second group, these are, um, again, three points. The ashru group, ashru means tears. And these points are underneath the eyebrow or along the supraorbital ridge or the top of the eye socket, um, but again, below the eyebrows. So we have the ashru antra point or the inner point, ashru madhya point or middle point above the pupil, an ashru agra point or outer point, again, below the eyebrow, above the eye, but on the outside, closest to the ear. The energies related to these points are the Vyana Vayu, Alochika Pitta, Sadaka Pitta, and Tarpaka Kapha. Indications, local, so headaches, but again, the pain is a little bit different. We're talking about frontal headaches here and supraorbital pain. Um, a long list of eye conditions, and you can see I've, I've kind of detailed them more out in the following slides, so go ahead and look at that. And again, emotion, stress, anxiety, and insomnia. So again, you can get some release of tears um, through working with these points. And like the brew group, these points may be sensitive, especially if there are issues with the liver. So um, a lot of overlap with the group, brew group, but slightly different. 
Then there's a single point um, called Kaninaka, and it's in the inner corner of the eye, and that's what Kaninaka stands for, inner corner, or it also stands for um, controls water, i.e. tears. Um, so the energies related to this point are Pranavayu, Vyanavayu, Lochika Pitta, Pachika Pitta, and Tarpika Kapha. Um, indications again local, but uh, you know, local for local headaches, we're talking frontal headaches or ophthalmic migraines, the eyes. So here's a longer list of some of the things that can be helped can be helped with this particular point. So aqueous and vitreous humor, fluids of the eye, glaucoma, um, lacrimation, uh, the nasolacrimal duct, so the ability to form tears appropriately, sufficiently and appropriately. Red, burning, itchy, inflamed, dry, painful, swollen eyes, any of those kinds of conditions, blurry or dim division, night color blindness, photophobia, um, and eye strain. This point can be helpful with all those sorts of things. Also, because it's close to the nose and it controls lacrimation and some of that fluid, um, the tear production goes into the nose. It's also helpful with nose and sinus congestion to some degree, and it can also be helpful with stress. And again, the points, these points, or this point, the inner point, inner eye point, on the right side is related to the liver, and the left side is related to the spleen. So that's Kaninaka. So as um, on the outside of the eye, we have a Panga, which means outer corner. And the energies related to this point are Apanavayu, Udanavayu, Alojika Pitta, and Tarpika Kapha. Again, indications here are local. So headaches, these are more temporal headaches rather than frontal. So on the side of the head, you know, the temple and supraorbital pain. So above the eye pain. The eyes, um, a lot of similar, it's a similar list to Kaninak actually. So aqueous vitreous humor, glaucoma, lacrimation, meso, lacrimal duct, red, burning, itchy, inflamed, dry, painful, swollen eyes, blurry, dim division, night or color blindness, photophobia, and eye strain. A couple that are a little bit different, allergic itching and lacrimation from Bell's palsy because this point is um, close to the facial nerves that are involved with Bell's palsy. Nose and sinus, again, can be um, helped with this point, so congestion like Kaninaka. And you'll see, just a sort of like almost a little bit of a diagnostic, um, when you see discharge coming from the eyes uh, on the outside corner here, that's related, that can be related to toxins in the colon. And if there's puffiness um, around this area or under the eye, that can be a sign of weak kidneys. So on the right side, um, this point, a ponga point, is related to kidney and adrenals um, and the ascending colon, so the right side of the colon. Um, and on the left side, this point, a ponga, is related to the left kidney and left adrenal and the descending colon. So that's um, so there are a few unique features with this point apanga. And then this last group here, the Vartma group, or Vartma, Vartma means eyelid in Sanskrit. So this is going to be on the infraorbital ridge or the this eye socket, you know, below the eye. You can feel that you know bone there. Um, and there are three points again. We have antra Vartma, so inner Vartma, Madhya Vartma, middle Vartma, and Baya Vartma or Outer Vartma. And the energies uh, associated with this, these points are Alochika Pitta, Sadaka Pitta, Tarpika Kapha. Indications, um, again, eyes, a long list here, aqueous vitreous humor, glaucoma, lacrimation, nasal lacr lacrimal duct, red, burning, itching, um, inflamed, dry, painful, swollen eyes, blurry, dim vision, night blindness, photophobia, allergies, and twitching eyelids. So that's a little bit different, twitching eyelids with this list. Again, nose and sinus, so um, regulates lubrication, and it's a, it can help decongest those areas, and it can be helpful with rhinitis, so when there's actually inflammation of the nose or the sinuses. Um, because this point is closest to the ears, it can be helpful with um, uh, deafness and tinnitus, um, and it can also help with um, deviation of the mouth and speech. Um, there's also an association here with um, the kidneys and adrenals. So if you see puffiness or darkness below the eyes, this um, can be helpful in addition to, um, you know, internal measures for helping the kidneys, usually like nutrition and liquids, that sort of thing, whatever is appropriate. Um, this point can also be very helpful with emotions, specifically grief and sadness. 
and the middle point, the module point only, is um, helpful with hel um, helpful with anxiety and chronic indigestion. So again, as a group, um, uh, they have these um, conditions that are helpful with, and the module point has a couple of little extra things that it does. So to summarize the I points, so we have 11 of them, and again, 11 out of 107 total points, uh, marma points in the body. So if you learn these, you have about 10% or so, 10, 12% of the marma points um, learned, which is great. So most of these points are good for headaches, um, except for the uh, Vartma points under the eye. All of them, of course, are good for the eyes, and you know, depending on what kind of condition, um, you, might, you can check out the slides before to see which ones might be the most appropriate, depending on what's going on with the eyes. Um, pretty much all of them are helpful with emotions and stress. Um, uh, Kaninaka and Apanga probably the least so. Um, uh, Kaninaka can be helpful with some stress, but um, they're a little bit more physical in their effects. Insomnia, so the points one, one through six, um, so the points above the eye can be helpful with insomnia. Um, nose and sinus can be helped with 7, 8, and 9 through 11, so the points beside the eye, on the sides of the eye, or below the eye. <clears throat> um, the uh, Vartma points below the eye can be helpful with ears, and they can be helpful with uh, mouth and speech. Points 1 through 3 and 7 can be helpful with liver or gallbladder, and they can also be helpful with spleen and pancreas. Um, kidneys and adrenals are helped with points 8 through 11, and the colon can be helped um, through point 8. All right, so just summarizing everything so you have a little uh, time to integrate all the information. So there you have it, um, Marma points around the eye. Uh, I hope you found this helpful. And again, when you're working with these points, you know, be very gentle. Um, not just physically, like you don't want to, you know, poke around the eyes too much because they're delicate and they can be tender physically. But again, a lot of these points can help to release deep-seated emotions. And so always be kind and compassionate and gentle when you're working with these points. All right, so thank you for your time and until the next one. Take care.